Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and welcome back to another episode of Jack 3. I'm enjoying this game so far. For all the credit that I- or uh, for all the shame I've been giving it, I'm, I'm enjoying this game so far. It's been good. I mean, some parts are difficult and the controls are clunky, but for the most part, yeah, I'm enjoying this game. Today we are going to head down into the spider part of the volcano. Great! And see what there is to see. Uh, we're gonna see this thing. Okay, that's, uh, worrisome. Precursors on the walls, or Chozo? I'm gonna break these things up, because I... they don't. They do not have metalhead trophies in them. Okay. What's back there? That might be interesting. There's someone there waiting for us, I think. Oh, that just refills my dark eco. Okay. So there's gonna be a big battle. Hi, guys. Uh, don't shoot me, don't shoot me, shoot Oh. Thank you. You, you did shoot me. <laughs> the kiss of death. Hmm. So, sneak around the outside, I guess? Or maybe... Hmm. There's a glow of purple up there. Yeah. So, we'll sneak by these guys to step on the switch. Which opens that door. Okay. And then I die. <laughs> Great. I'm glad I'm not your stunt double. <laughs> Haven't had one of those in a while. Okay, where is the purple power? Behold the power of purple. I want this purple power. I also want more ammunition. Okay, so I need the super weapon. Thank you. And then... I was hoping to get in that door over there. But I can't do that. However, I can do this. <laughs> Just what I was hoping for. Alright. Get a little bit more of that, and then kaboom. Oh, it's glorious. Uh, get away from me. Thank you. For some reason, I did not even consider that there were more spiders back here. And now everything's blocked off. Great. That's a lot of trophies. Give me all the everything. Give me all the everything. Give me all the get down, get down, get down. Collect these things before they disappear. Um. Okay. So I need to make it across all of these things before I lose my invisibility. Great. Get going. Nah, just lost it. Alright, we good. Then another one. So really, nobody would be able to do this except Jack. There we go. And did that thing disappear on its own because it got closer or because I had to spin to try to get across to the other side? So much mystery in these games. For all the hate that I've been giving them about the difficulty and the ridiculousness of the plot and the characters. There's so much mystery to these games. And like, what's... what all the everything is. It'd probably be really fun to have an entire, like, history class or something about the backstory of the Jack and Daxter games. There are spinning blades up there and I don't want to touch them. Did it did it did it come on. Disable the thing. Thank you. I knew I didn't have enough... If it's timed, I didn't have enough to get across. There we go. Whoop! Whoop! Okay. All good. Uh, next... Yeah, I guess we can refill this. I guess we can get invisibility, too, before we go in that other room. Sure, why not? Hello? It's like they know. It's like they know. And you're dead. 
Anybody else back there? If there are, you're dead. Oh, hey, where did these things come from? I have no idea, but I'll take them. Uh, yeah, I don't know where they came from. Big precursor. Uh, hello? I want no excuses. You told me this could be done. Now make it so. But we have so little time. The day star approaches. You know what it brings. Unfortunate, yes. We will deal with that as soon as I have full access to the catacombs. Just continue your work, and I'll deal with those idiots in Haven. I promise, you will meet your makers. Why are the catacombs so important? Sure, let's talk while this room will echo for us. Let them hear. Oh, thank you. Uh, so we'll activate this thing to get back home, then. Hmm. Uh... It's one of those goober eyed precursor thingies. Greetings, great warrior. What's up, dude? Your return brings us great hope. This planet's future is at a critical juncture. The Dark Ones have found your world again, and fate hangs in the balance where the past and the future collide. Do you have any idea what he just said? Speak up the normal language, okay? <laughs> you will need all the power you can muster to survive this terrible test, Great One. I can handle it. I was talking to the Tall One, Shorty. Hey! Well, at least they recognize the light him. And receive a power hero. Even though he's a dark warrior? Okay, but well, now you're scaring me. Dax, the Dark Eco. It feels far away. I feel better. Light Jack Regeneration. Hello. Okay. Uh, sure. Thank you. I guess. What? And does that restore my light eco now? No, 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 no. So does this, like, restore both of them at this point? Yeah, yes. All right. So will that restore my light energy, or does that restore my health? I mean, either way, it's going to be a good thing, but then again, how do I get out of here? This way? No, 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 no. Quit doing the whole darky thing. All right, I left my vehicle parked out here, right? Right? It's like right over on this side? Yeah. Dude, there's my car. <laughs> Alright. So, hmm. I don't know if there's going to be anything... I forgot how to jump. I don't know if there's going to be anything else interesting while we're on our way back to the city. So... I guess I might as well just you know, cut back to the city whenever we go back and talk to the king. Because I don't think there's going to be anything between here and there. I mean, I might as well take this moment to say, if there's times like this where you guys actually want to see the trip back, let me know, because that might be kind of important. Otherwise, I can just cut back to it in the city whenever we're doing plot-related stuff again. And it's just a thought. I'd like to hear what you guys think. Personally, I'd rather skip ahead to all the interesting stuff. If you guys want to watch me make the treks back and screw up everything on my way, then let me know. Otherwise, I'll just go ahead and cut stuff out. For now, I'm going to cut everything out. Trade for skull gems for what exactly? Use a faster transport to find this spot in time. Good luck. Um. Wait, what? We're supposed to find that thing somewhere, and you're not going to tell us where. So we have to spend the tokens that we get in order to do these challenges. Is that what I'm understanding here? That's a terrible idea for a challenge. I, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I, I don't care. I'm, I'm not going to do your challenge to race thing in order to prove how much of a hero I am. That seems really stupid, and I don't think your yellow precursor orbs, while they seem to be special, are not anything that I particularly want. I'm more interested in blowing things up, like this. Which is not going to be blown up, except by much heavier ordnance. Okay, 
Back to the king. Attention, all people of Spargus. A large storm is heading our way. Prepare the city. Jack, there are four wastelanders out there who still have not reported in. I want you to go out and find them. Do whatever it takes to bring them back. Uh, but they're outside the city on their own. Don't you like weed out the weak and keep the strong? Isn't that like the entire point of why you're sending me through all the uh, trials that you have been? I'm going to throw you into the arena of death, and if you die, so well, too bad. You were dumb and stupid and weak, and we don't want you anyway. And now these people are outside the city. He's like, hey, uh, we have dumb, weak, stu peop stupid people outside the city. Go and bring them back, please. We uh, want them to come back alive. What? If when you become a citizen, are you more inclined to be rescued? Because somehow I highly doubt that if that is the case, you are not going to make any sort of exceptions for me if I'm ever outside the city when a storm's coming in. You will never hunt me down. You'll just say, well, alright, too bad. You should have reported in when he had the chance. And then there, I come back in and he's going to say, hey, we thought we lost you because you went out and uh, we didn't want to go search for you, so, you know, <laughs> screw you. Alright, let's just go. Actually, no. I don't want... No, well, too late now. I don't want this weapon. I wanted the jumper, whatever it is, uh, with the cannon on it. This has a lot more fun. I guess this one might be a little bit better for the uh, the whole spray and pray thing. And you don't need a large explosion to take all these enemy vehicles out in one hit, but... Come on. There you go. There you go. Keep it together. Keep it together. You're not keeping it together very well. This thing slides around a lot. I know it's supposed to be like a step up from the piece of junk vehicle, but it slides around a lot. Seriously? Go over there. Pick him up. Pick him up. Please help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on. Get on. I thought I was a gunner. You were. Now we have to go ris rescue the other ones in the same amount of time. Jack, get moving. Quit warping around. This is going to go well. On the rocks, over the rocks, under the rocks, because we can't drive. Yeah, this vehicle is a piece of crap. I can't drive it. The other one, I was able to drive a whole lot better. Granted, I still crash a lot, but not nearly as clumsy as this thing is. Yeah, I'm not going to make it to that guy in time. Absolutely not going to make it to him in time. Am I? Did I make it to him in time? I'll put a good word in with Davis. Oh, I'm s just supposed to bring him back. Okay, and that delays the storm, apparently. Alright. Well, we get to go out and save the weaklings from the storm now. Certainly wouldn't do the same for us, I know it. Jack wants to get on everybody's bad side, but everybody needs Jack because he's strong, so he can get away with it. Seriously, Jack? And these guys are no help by pushing me around. Hey guys, a storm is coming. Quit beating me up. We're all gonna die. There. Now you'll die anyway. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There. I'm sure I hit him a few times with that. If he ever gets in my way again, I'll just blow him up straight on the spot. Really, Jack? There was nothing to tip you over there. That guy didn't even touch you. Okay, what was that? I did not touch the control stick at all. No excuse. No excuse. Okay, you jump off now? Alright, you guys, come here. I have no idea where you are, but you're going to die. Because you are in my way, and I don't like you, I have no reason to like you, and I'm in the water again. Because of course I am. I just need to shoot these guys up a ton. And they don't leave any wreckage behind for me to uh, get tripped up on, which is another blessing. I'll take any blessings I can get at this point. Things are so terrible. Get on! Also, the enemies on my map are fading in and out a lot. I think that they're just randomly spawning in order to give me problems. 
Like, they have no reason to exist other than to give me something to shoot and to make things more difficult for me. Get up, Jack. Get up. Here we go, off in this direction. Now, please, don't suddenly fly off into the ether. Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, no, but no enemies on my radar that time, but now I can hardly see my vehicle. It's gotten so stormy. There's going to be a rock in the road right in front of me. I'm not going to see it. I'm going to trip on it. I'm going to fly up in the air, fly all the way out to Timbuktu, and land somewhere and explode. Actually, no, I won't explode. I'll just be so far away that they say, hey, you have to try to make your way all the way back now. The timer will keep on going, and that's a lot of time. How far away is this last person? Can he not start walking toward me, please? What, what, what the heck? I did not touch the control stick at all, and he was sliding around like that. There was no excuse. Wait, what? You're dead. What? Hi, buddy. I would like to get back to my vehicle now, please. I'd like to get back to my vehicle now, please. What? what? Are, we, are we supposed to destroy this thing now? Or survive it? What, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Keep on shooting it, or what? I, I don't understand. Maybe after he hits me one more time, I'll try the whole... Yeah, one more time, try the whole light, jack, regeneration thing. Seriously, stay away from me. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Seriously? Come on now. I am back, I am back, and now he's exposing himself for me to attack. Of course he was. Am I just supposed to stay in the middle here? Seems boring. Ow. Riveting gameplay. Um... Yeah, I'm sure this is really exciting for you, but I have places to go and things to do. Could you just, like, you know, stop? Oh, now you're doing a double. And a triple! Great! That's exactly what I wanted to see. Oh, sure, you can just hold it right under me, too. That works fine. What to do? It's dead. It didn't leave anything behind for me. Now we have to get back in the sandstorm, which is pushing me. Okay, so that's what the problem was earlier. Would have been nice to know that that was a thing that does happen. I have no idea where I'm going. This is obviously the wrong way now, I can see that. Only by looking at my map, because I can't see anything otherwise. There we go, there we go, there we go. Of course, the king and everybody else is going to call me a extreme failure because they didn't bring back one person. Well, good thing I rescued the other 75%. I'm sure they're super grateful that I was out there helping them out. But hey, he was dead before I got out there. If he didn't want to die out there, then you shouldn't have been weak and useless like everyone else seems to think I am. My gosh, I can't drive in this weather. I'm having a hard enough time driving as it is, but still. And there was a turbo up there too. You hardly ever see the turbos out here. I think that's the first one I've seen, probably. Maybe there have been others on screen, but I'm so busy focused on what I'm trying to do and having a hard time driving. That's a chore to do anything else. Come on now. Come on. Jack. There. Be nice to have a little bit of auto aim for this thing. Really? Really? Are you going to get stuck that way? Really? Yeah, just go for it. I, I don't care. I don't care that we're about to blow up. We're probably going to lose on this uh, time anyway, so hey, who cares? 
Get out of my way. We're getting there. We're almost there. We'll probably run out of time as we're entering the city, but hey! We'll probably run out of health, too, in a minute. I have no idea if there's anybody in front of me. I was just shooting. And tada, we're back. Just enough time. Oh my goodness gracious. What a chore. Just open the doors. Open the doors. That's going to be it for this episode. Thanks everyone for joining me for Jack today. Ugh. Yes, I'm a do-gooder for doing all the stuff I'm supposed to do in this game. I, I don't really know what you're giving me a trophy for. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. I will see you next time for another episode of Jack 3. Take care. Oh, hey! What the... What? Sig? What? Jack? Dexter? Sig! Well, don't you two look sorrier than ever. What are you doing here? Honing my skills. Let's finish this. Wait, what? Whoa, come on, Sig. I'm not gonna fight you. If we don't, he'll kill us both. Rule of the arena. Sorry, nothing personal. Uh-oh.